so you can see in the figure there is a wheel and there are three forces acting on it and it is asking what is the net torque on the wheel so we make a table forces and torque and there are different radius they are given a and b so for the force 10 newton the fixed point is this o and draw a straight line perpendicular to the force 10 newton so this distance is b it is given here so the torque is b into 10 it is positive or negative so we go from the fixed point to the force and we are moving right so this is a clockwise rotation the torque is negative so the sign is very important for the torque questions now coming to the force 9 newton so again we draw a straight line perpendicular to the force so this is again b distance is b so this is b into 9 for the direction we move from the fixed point towards the force and moving right so this is a again a clockwise rotation so the torque is again negative now coming to this 12 newton so there is an angle given but this is not necessary so this is to confuse the student so we have 12 newton and it is already indicated this perpendicular distance this is a so your torque is a into 12 it is positive or negative so we move from the fixed point are going towards left so this is a counterclockwise so this is a positive so now if we put this values of a and b we will get so this will be minus 2.5 and this value will be minus 2.25 and this value will be 1.2 so your torque net equal to minus 3.55 newton into meter so here you can see this negative signs when all the forces acting on this wheel so the overall rotation will be clockwise because the torque is negative 